Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today I wanted to take you through the process of taking part in the university's COVID-19 saliva testing program. I'm going to take you through the steps of taking the test, dropping off the test and getting your results. I signed up for the testing program at the start of term and I've been taking a test once a week since then. I've chosen to opt in because I think it's really important to not only look after myself but also everyone else in the community. Obviously with universities still being open, getting tested regularly actually reduces the chances of me unknowingly catching the virus and spreading it around and helps me identify quicker if I need to self-isolate. I'm due to take another test today. I've had a text alert from the university. You get sent these text reminders when you need to take your test, which is really helpful because I'm quite forgetful. So yeah, I'm gonna take you along today just so you can see how it works and how easy it is. So anyone with a university IT account can sign up for the program. I got this kit in the post a few days after I opted in. You can also pick up spare kits from campus or any drop-off points. Um, however, they won't contain the stickers with your name on, so just make sure you keep those safe in the first kit that you receive. So this is what you will receive inside the testing pack. You get a copy of the instructions, which is basically a leaflet, and it has all the instructions written really clearly. You have some sample testing pots, you have some absorbent material, plastic bags, and this is the most important thing. Um, these are the stickers that you put on your sample pots to identify who you are, so these are really important. Before taking your test, I'd really recommend just thoroughly reading through the instructions because if for some reason you don't do it correctly, this could mean that your test could be void or the results might be incorrect, so it's really important to make sure that you follow the instructions really closely. So now you've become familiar with the instructions, it is time to start taking the test. Before I start, one really important thing is that you make sure you take your test first thing in the morning, before you brush your teeth, before you've eaten anything, before you've drank a cup of tea, you need to make sure it's the first thing you do in the morning, otherwise this could affect the results of the test. Step one, you are going to need to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, then rinse and dry them. Then you're going to need to take one sample pot out of your testing kit and take off the lid, this is the only pot you're going to need. Now this next part, I'm not going to do on camera, but you need to collect enough saliva in your mouth and then transfer this saliva into a teaspoon. You are going to need to get about two milliliters. Then you need to really carefully pour the saliva from the teaspoon into the testing pot and screw the lid on really tightly. Then you're going to need to take one of your yellow sample pot labels and stick that lengthways on your sample pot. Then you need to seal the sample pot in a plastic bag with one of the pieces of absorbent material. Don't wrap the absorbent material around the pot. Then wash your hands again with soap and water and make sure that you wash the teaspoon that you've just used. Make sure that your hands are dry. Before you then put the bag containing the pot in a second bag, make sure there is as little air inside this as possible. Then stick one of the blue outer bag labels on the outside of the bag. And this is your completed test, which you now need to take to a drop-off point. That is my test complete. Now I am going to go and drop the test off at one of the drop-off points on campus. If you go online, you can find a list of all the different drop-off points available. So it is the next day now and I have just received a text message that has my results on it. Normally the results come in the next day or the day after so it is a pretty quick turnaround to get your results after you drop off your test. Before I end today's vlog I just wanted to talk quickly about the support available for students who might have to self-isolate as a result of a positive test. Obviously the prospect of having to self-isolate can be quite a daunting thing but the university does have a lot of support available for students who are going to have to isolate. So if you do test positive, you need to inform the university. Shortly after you've informed them, you'll get a wellbeing call from the Student Support Hub and they'll be on hand to help you at any point throughout your isolation. You can get help with things like getting your food delivered or your laundry and the information of all the support available is on the website. I guess the takeaway message is that if you do need to isolate, you don't need to worry. The university are going to be there to support you through that period. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for coming along on this testing journey with me. I hope you've enjoyed watching and found it informative and I will see you in the next video. Bye.